Andrew Wiggins had a bounce back year with the Warriors after what has been considered an underwhelming career so far for the number one overall pick. His salary might be a bit high, but I think he has been worth every single bit of the 31 million a year the Warriors are paying him. Wiggins has silenced all the haters about his flaws and weaknesses that seem to plague him in Minnesota. Before I get started, about 97% of you guys watching my videos aren't even subscribed to the channel. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the month, so leaving a like and subscribing would help out the channel a lot. Without further ado, this is why Andrew Wiggins is the best 3 and D player in the NBA. In Minnesota, Wiggins was expected to be the next Kobe Bryant or even the next Michael Jordan, which is why he has been called Maple Jordan since high school. He was one of the most hyped prospects since LeBron and lived up to the hype in his first few seasons in the NBA. He won Rookie of the Year in 2015 and averaged 23 points per game by his third season in 2017. However, Wiggins never broke out after that, and it seemed like he didn't have that killer instinct to be the number one option that everyone thought he could be. Wiggins was frustrating for Timberwolves fans to watch at times, especially when Jimmy Butler came to Minnesota. This was because Wiggins took a huge step back from being the 1A or 1B to Carl Anthony Towns to now being the number three option. His efficiency greatly dropped and he was greatly criticized by the media, fans, and even Jimmy Butler himself for what appeared to be a lack of effort defensively and a lack of a motivation to win. It turns out he just wasn't the type of player to be the number one option on a winning team. With his skill set, he was a better fit in a role where he wouldn't have any pressure to be the main ball handler or shot creator. Wiggins was having a bit of a bounce back year in 2020 with the scoring and playmaking, but it was far too late for the Timberwolves front office as they were continuing to lose game after game with Wiggins being the number one option after Carl Anthony Towns got hurt. That is when the Warriors took advantage of the opportunity to trade for Wiggins, as he was a better fit than D'Angelo Russell because of the Warriors' desperate need for a high-level athletic wing. In Golden State, Wiggins would no longer be under the pressure of being a number one option on a bad team and could instead focus on playing off-ball as a slasher and spot-up shooter. This gave him the opportunity to improve his three-point shooting, efficiency, and improve his defense for a Warriors team built on a defensive identity. Night in and night out, Wiggins has been asked to guard the best wing players in the NBA since coming to the Warriors, and has delivered way more than critics thought he would. Statistically, he was one of the best defenders in the NBA last season, and even earned a vote for an all-defensive team. And offensively, Wiggins put up career highs in field goal percentage, free throw percentage, effective field goal percentage, true shooting percentage, but most importantly, three-point percentage. This was always the biggest knock for Wiggins offensively, but the time off from the pandemic and Curry's gravity on the court allowed him to take and make much more wide open three-pointers. This improved his three-point percentage to 38%, while he also made two three-pointers a game, and this made him one of the best volume shooters in the NBA. Normally, Wiggins will start off the year hot from three, then cool off quite a bit, and his three-point percentage will usually end up being around 33%. That was not the case this year, as he not only stayed consistent all year from three, but also showed great defensive improvement, becoming the Warriors' primary perimeter defender on a nightly basis. Along with his three-point volume and defense, Wiggins averaged nearly 19 points per game, which is what ultimately makes him the best 3 and D player in the NBA. He not only succeeded in his role, but he outperformed it so well that he clearly made more of an impact scoring-wise and defensively than any other 3 and D wing in the NBA. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.